everyone and welcome to IPM Leap. Today's lesson is a very important one, not only for 11th and 12th graders, but for my younger students as well. We are going to study divisibility rules. It's a topic which is at the heart of all math calculations. So you need to have a thorough understanding of these divisibility rules if you want to be good at maths. Many a times what happens is, we need to quickly check whether a given number has a certain factor or divisor. And if we perform the actual division, it is a long, complicated and time consuming operation. A divisibility rule is a way to skip the actual division process. Using a divisibility rule, we can quickly decide whether a given number is divisible by a fixed divisor by just examining the digits of the given number. Isn't that cool? In this video, we will study the divisibility rules for numbers from 2 to 16. So let's begin. We know that by 1, all numbers are divisible. So the first divisibility rule is for the number 2. The given number is divisible by 2 if it is even. That is, if the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So let's say we have to check whether the following three numbers are divisible by two or not. Just focus on the last digit. For the first number, it's eight. Eight is even. So yes, this number is divisible. For the second number, it's four. Again, four is even. So this number, 1964, is also divisible. For the third number, last digit is seven, which is odd. So this number, 7,237, is not divisible by 2. Simple so far, right? Let's move on to the divisibility rule for 3. The given number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. For example, to check whether 1593 is divisible by 3, we add up all the 4 digits. 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3 is 18. Now 18 we know comes in the multiplication table of 3. It is divisible by 3. So this number 1593 is also divisible by 3. Next we have a 5 digit number 58215. To check whether this number is divisible by 3, we add up all the 5 digits. 5 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5. The sum of digits is 21 which is divisible by 3. So this number is also divisible by 3. Now comes the divisibility rule for 4. This is very important as it is used quite often in maths. The given number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4. So what we have to do is just focus on the number formed by the last two digits. And let's do the following examples. Check if 2764 is divisible by 4. What are the last two digits? 64. And 64 is divisible by 4. 16 fours are 64, right? So this number 2764 is also divisible by 4. Next, we have to check whether 5238 is divisible. Last two digits are 38. Now 38 is not divisible by 4. 4 9s are 36. 38 is not divisible. So this number 5238 is also not divisible by 4. Last two digits are 48. 48 is clearly divisible by 4. 4 12s are 48. So this complete number 1948 is also divisible by 4. Then we have the divisibility rule for 5. This one is very simple. The given number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. So check for 4225. Last digit is 5. So yes, this number is divisible. Check for 8960. Last digit is 0. So yes, this is also divisible. The divisibility rule for 6. Now 6 being a composite number, does not have a special divisibility rule. The given number is divisible by 6 if it's divisible by both 2 and 3. And we know that 2 into 3 is equal to 6. 2 and 3 are factors of 6. 
So that's how we can remember this rule. For example, if we have to check whether 2862 is divisible by 6. First check divisibility by 2. Last digit is 2. So yes, it's divisible by 2. Then check is divisibility by 3. Sum of digits is 2 plus 8 plus 6 plus 2, which is 18. And 18 is divisible by 3. So this number is also divisible by 3. Since 2862 is divisible by both 2 and 3, so it is divisible by 6 also. Next, we have to check whether 35,934 is divisible by 6. First, check divisibility by 2. Last digit is 4, so yes, it's divisible by 2. Then, check is divisibility by 3. Sum of digits is 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3 plus 4 which is 24 and 24 is divisible by 3. So this number is also divisible by 3. Since 35,934 is divisible by both 2 and 3, therefore this number is divisible by 6. The rule for 7 is a little complicated, so pay attention. The given number is divisible by 7 if subtracting 2 times the last digit from the number formed by the remaining digits is either 0 or divisible by 7. And if it's a big number, then this process can be repeated several times. Let me show you how. Check whether 2723 is divisible by 7. Last digit is 3 and the rest of the number is 272. So we have to subtract 2 times the last digit from the rest of the number. Okay, that will be 272 minus 2 times 3, which is equal to 266. Let's repeat this process once more. Split the number 266. Last digit is 6 and the rest of the number is 26. Again, we have to subtract 2 times the last digit from the rest of the number. So 26 minus 2 times 6 is equal to 26 minus 12, which is 14. And 14 is clearly divisible by 7. So our original number 2723 is also divisible by 7. Now some of you might feel that dividing by 7 is maybe easier. Yes indeed I also feel the same. So whenever it's a small number 3 or 4 digit number I actually divide by 7 rather than applying this rule. However for bigger numbers, I have an advanced rule for 7, which is very easy to apply. You won't get this rule in your textbooks or on the internet and few teachers know about it. So, for a number greater than 3 digits, take the difference of the number formed by last 3 digits and the rest of the number before that. If this difference is divisible by 7, then the whole number is also divisible. Let's take the same example. 2723. Split this number at the last three digits. We get 2 as our first part and 723 as our last. Now take the difference. 723 minus 2 is 721. Quickly divide by 7 and see. Yes, 721 is divisible by 7. So our number 2723 is also divisible. One more example. Check whether 38,241 is divisible by 7. Split this number at the last three digits. We get 38 as our first part and 241 as our last. Take the difference of 38 and 241. 241 minus 38 is 203. Quickly divide by 7 and see. Yes, 203 is divisible. So we can conclude that this number 38,241 is also divisible by 7. You will be glad to know that this rule works for 11 and 13 as well. One divisibility rule, multiple numbers. Now comes the divisibility rule for 8. It is similar to 4. Only we have to check the last 3 digits instead of last 2. The given number is divisible by 8. If the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8. So let's check whether the following numbers on your screen are divisible. 
6728. Number formed by the last three digits is 728. Quickly divide and see. Yes, 728 is divisible by 8. So 6728 is also divisible by 8. Next, we have to check for 78264. Last three digits are 264. We divide 264 by 8 and yes, 264 is divisible by 8. So our original number of five digits, which was 78264, is also divisible. Rule of 9 is quite similar to the rule of 3. 9 is 3 into 3. That's how you can remember that 3 and 9 have similar divisibility rules. The given number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. So check whether 1593 is divisible. Add the digits of this number. 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3 is 18. 18 is divisible by 9. So this number 1593 is also divisible by 9. Next we check for 28515. Adding its digits, 2 plus 8 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5. The sum is 21. Now 21 is divisible by 3, but not by 9. So this number is divisible by 3, but not, not by 9. Okay. I hope the application of the rules are clear now. So far, so good. The divisibility rule for 10 is a no-brainer. Very simply, the given number is divisible by 10 if its last digit is 0. So, 31280, last digit is 0. So, yes, it is divisible by 10. 8063, last digit is 3. So, it's not divisible by 10. Now, one of the most important rules, the divisibility rule for 11. Listen carefully. For checking divisibility of a given number by 11, you have to find separately the sum of digits in the odd positions, the sum of digits in the even positions. If the difference of these two sums is 0 or a multiple of 11, then the given number is divisible, else not. Let's see how this rule is applied. First number is 21625. Digits in odd positions are 2, 1 and 5. Find their sum, 2 plus 1 plus 5. The digits in even positions are the green ones, 6 and 2. Find their sum, 6 plus 2. And take the difference of these two sums. 8 minus 8 is 0. So the rule says that if this difference is 0 or a multiple of 11, the given number is divisible. Therefore, our number 626125 is divisible by 11. Next is 6072. Digits in odd positions, 6 and 7, they are sum 13. Digits in even positions, 0 and 2, they are sum 2. The difference of these two sums is 11. 11 is a multiple of 11. So yes, the given number 6072 is divisible by 11. Divisibility rule for 12. Now just like the rule for 6, Please note that 12 is a composite number made up of 2's and 3's. So for checking divisibility by 12, the given number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. We already know the divisibility rules for 3 and 4. Examples, check whether 3768 is divisible by 12. We check by 3 first. Sum of digits is 3 plus 7 plus 6 plus 8 which is 24. So this number is divisible by 3. Next we check by 4. Number formed by the last two digits is 68. 68 is divisible by 4. So yes, this number is divisible by 4 as well. Hence we can say that this number is divisible by 12. Next we have to check whether 13572 is divisible by 12. We check by 3 first. Sum of digits is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 which is 18. So this number is divisible by 3. Next we check by 4. Number formed by the last two digits is 72. 
72 is divisible by 4. So yes, this number is divisible by 4 as well. Therefore, we can conclude that this number is also divisible by 12. The divisibility rule for 13. Just like the rule for 7, this rule is a little complicated. The rule is, the given number is divisible by 13 if adding 4 times the last digit to the number formed by the remaining digits is divisible by 13. Okay, so let's check for 5928. We split the number at the last digit, which is 8. 4 times the last digit added to the rest of the number. 4 times 8 plus 592 is 624. Let's repeat this process. 624 split at the last digit, which is 4. 4 times the last digit added to the rest of the number looks like 4 times 4 plus 62. It's equal to 78. 78 is divisible by 13. 13 6 are 78. So our original number 5928 is divisible by 13. 14 being a composite number, we check divisibility by 2 and 7 to check if the number is divisible by 14. Example 45248 is divisible by 2 because it's an even number. And I'm using the alternate rule of 7 that I taught you earlier in this video. Split the number at its last three digits. We get 45 and 248. Take the difference. The difference is 203. 203 is divisible by 7. And so is our number. Being divisible by both 2 and 7, it's divisible by 14 also. For 15, the rule of 3 and 5 applies. 6, 7, 6, 5. Sum of digits is 24, so it is divisible by 3. And last digit is 5, so it is divisible by 5 as well. Therefore, the given number 6, 7, 6, 5 is divisible by 15. Finally, we have the rule for 16. This is very similar to the rule of 4 and 8. In the case of 16, we see the number formed by the last 4 digits. If this 4 digit number is divisible by 16, then our original number is also divisible, else it is not. Obviously, this rule will be useful only for numbers greater than 4 digits. So let's check if the number 235472 is divisible by 16. We pick the number found by the last 4 digits, which are 5472, and divide it by 16. So it turns out that 5472 is divisible by 16 because it leaves the remainder 0. Therefore, our original number 235472 was also divisible by 16. That brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to press the like button if you found it useful and also press the bell icon next to subscribe to get notifications about other such useful content on our channel. We will be glad to receive your queries and feedback. Just drop them in the comments box of the page below. Happy learning and take care.